everybody. Welcome to your Tuesday evening Facebook Live. My name is Sarah Edwards and I come live to you guys. I come live every Tuesday and Thursday at 7 to show you a fun new project. So for the whole month of March, we've been doing 3D items for your Easter basket or your Easter bag, whichever one you guys have made. And today, I cannot believe is the last Saturday, or the last Saturday, <laughs> the last Tuesday of March. So on Thursday, when we do a live, we'll be doing something completely different. But today is our last Tuesday's live for our 3D March Marathon Easter projects. So like the whole month, we will be doing another 3D item. It's kind of a 3D item. I think it's a 3D item, but I'll let you guys kind of tell me if you guys think it is too. But anyway, I'm super excited to be here with you. I had an amazing day. I got to sleep in and I was in my craft room all day. It was amazing. I got to hang out with my aunt for a little bit and yeah, it was just super nice and relaxing and it's so beautiful out. Oh, it was such a beautiful day. As you can see, I'm already in a tank top because it was actually a little bit warm. But anyway, welcome everybody. Hello, Heather, Karen, Anna, Jane. Good evening, ladies. So the bags are all done, put together, and ready for our last little um, tidbit that we're going to be doing. And we're actually doing it on the back side. I know the lighting is a little bit bright. Sorry about that. Um, let's see if I can, oh, there we go. So you can see that we did the name tag, oops, wrong side. We did the name tags and then we did the bags, the little um, Daisy Hershey Kisses. And then inside, everything is inside the bags already. I do have them in the back of the studio. So if you do come this Saturday for card class, you'll be able to see them before I hand them out on Sunday. And I definitely will take pictures of all of the kids holding their, they're not kids, the young adults holding their bags. So I'll post those as well. So let me flip you over so we can get started. So let me bring in the bag again. So here is the bag. Hopefully it fits okay. Um, so we've done the outside of it. We did all everything that goes on the inside. I literally don't think anything else is going to fit on the inside of this bag. And I actually didn't even bring over what we're gonna be doing. But we are going to make a card to hang on the back side of this bag. Um, I don't know what I was thinking, but I totally didn't even bring one of the finished projects over. But all of them are done and ready to go. So um, have you ever given a gift in a gift bag and they have to hunt for the card on the inside? No longer. We are, I'm going to show you how to attach it to the outside of the bag without ruining your card. Okay. So let's get started. Thank you, Jane. Um, yes, I hope everybody saw on my personal Facebook, but I am going to be a grandma. So I'm super excited about that. My oldest daughter, Cassie, and her husband are having a baby. Anyway, okay, so what you need first is a piece of um, basic white. I'm actually using two different colors. We're going to hopefully get through two of them today. So I'm using the basic white on the first one and then Bumblebee on the second one, but they're the same exact measurements. So this is four and a quarter by 11, and I scored it at one inch and then at six inches. So we're gonna go ahead and assemble the card base first, and then we will go in to decorate it. So I'm gonna crease on my little edges, just like this. And does anybody know what this little tiny flap is gonna be? I know I've said it before, but if you're brand new, I'll go ahead and tell you guys. Um, I give my kids um, $5 Starbucks gift cards for every non-traditional holiday. So non-traditional is pretty much everything besides Christmas because they're already getting Christmas presents. So Easter, um, Halloween, St. Patrick's Day, 4th of July, I give them each a $5 gift card. And yeah, $5 is not a lot, um, but it's just something for them they have to use it out on a date, so they have to take a picture and send me a picture of them using their gift cards. So Easter is coming up, and we need a gift card holder to fit inside of our card. So that's what we're making now. So I went ahead and folded on our score marks, and I'm going to bring in our label punch, 
And I'm just going to open this back up and slide the label punch in, just kind of line it up so it's the same positioning on both sides. But I only want to cut a smidgen out of here. And that, I mean, the kids probably will know that there's a gift card in there, but you just need a little tiny slot. You could even use a circle punch if you wanted to. Um, and then I'm just gonna grab a little bit of tear and tape and I'm gonna put tear and tape along the edge. The funny thing is while I was putting all of these cards together, I put the Easter gift cards inside of them before I attached them to the bag. And I realized I think I'm one gift card short or it's somewhere in my purse. So I still have to find that out. So I'm literally just gonna put my bone folder in the center and I'm gonna push out. This just makes sure it's a tight fit. So now when you go to put your gift card in, it will slide in just like that. So now we can start decorating the outside. So let me set that aside and I'm gonna bring in the stamp sets we're gonna be using. So I'm using the back-to-back -back balloons. Um, I did this in the card class to go for last month and it is absolutely beautiful. If you haven't ordered this yet, when you see these cards, you're definitely wanna, gonna wanna have to order this. And then I'm using the um, Happy Easter, Happy Spring, Happy Happy Everything in the Timeless Tulips. So when you open this, you have your images right here. So the back to back means you're gonna stamp with the back side of your stamp and then flip it over and stamp with the front side. So I'm gonna show you guys how to do that. So I have both of my little flowers. I want the little leaf and I want the stem. So that is what we're gonna be using out of this set. So I have a piece of um, the basic white and this basic white piece measures one and three fourths. I'm sorry, one and three fourths by three and three fourths. So it's just a tiny little scrap. So what I'm gonna do first is this is the side that has the focal image. I'm gonna flip it over and I'm using the back side. And I'm gonna do the same thing to this one. I'm gonna flip it over so it's the back side that is up. I'm gonna set those two aside just so I don't lose them. And I am using Pacific Point and Balmy Blue. So your lighter color is going to be your bottom base. And I really feel like a goofball for not bringing in one of the cards that we're gonna be doing. I literally don't know what I was thinking. Okay, so I'm gonna ink up the back side and I'm going to stamp right up to the top. So I'm gonna take the smaller one and I'm gonna go right beside it. And I'm gonna keep doing this, keep alternating them. There we go. You literally wanna do this along the whole side of your card or whatever you're stamping. You could literally put all of these around your card and, or just one of them and not all of them. So our last one, there we go. So now what you're gonna do is you're going to clean your stamp and then we're going to flip it over just like that. Let's get rid of the balmy blue so I don't accidentally ink up the wrong color. And you're gonna open up your Pacific Point. Now I went ahead and started with the larger flower and now we're just going to go right on top. And I am doing all the larger ones first, just because I already know where they're gonna be positioned. And then I'm gonna come in and do this with the smaller one. Oh yeah, hope I did that right. I thought I didn't flip it over. Look at that, is that not the coolest thing? I think it is so brilliant. I literally have no idea how they come up with all of these amazing things. So you're gonna go ahead and clean your stamps off. Oops, and then I dropped it. You don't wanna drop it. You just wanna make sure it's all clean. And then I am going to bring in the leaf. I'm sorry, the stem. It's not the stem, it's not a leaf, it's a stem. So I have the backside out. And I'm going to use 
pear pizzazz and old olive for this one. So we're starting with the lighter. I'm going to come in and ink it up and I'm literally just going to stamp the stems all along the bottom. There we go. Okay, and you do wanna make sure you have a piece of scratch paper underneath you, otherwise um, it will get your work surface dirty. So now since I still am using um, the pair of pizzazz, I'm gonna grab my leaf and the back side is up. So I'm gonna come in and, oops. I'm gonna come in and ink this up, it fell off. And I'm just gonna stamp the leaves I literally am so stuck on my words today. Let's stamp these. And now we can get rid of the pear pizzazz and bring in the old olive. Thank you. Thank you, Karen. So I have the leaf on here already and I already flipped it over. So now you have your image out. I'm going to ink it up and I'm literally going to go right over what I just stamped. How many of you guys overlooked this set in the catalog? It is brilliant. Okay, so now let's grab the lee, the stem. Oh my goodness. So I flipped it over so now you have the image side out. Sorry, it's a little bit easier for me to do this sideways. Um, I can see it a tiny bit better, so hopefully it's not all cattywampus for you guys. So there we go. Look at how simple and easy that was to put together. So beautiful, and the colors are so vibrant, and you do get ink all over your fingers, but that's part of stamping. So I put in the description that you need some scratch... Um, not scratch, but you need some cardstock and designer series paper. So this piece is going to fit right on top. So you're going to grab your adhesive and all the dimensions are in the post. So we're going to attach this and set that aside so it can dry for a quick second. And then you have a scrap piece of Whisper White or Basic White and this measures three fourths of an inch wide by two and a quarter inches. So I'm going to bring in my Pacific Point again and I'm going to stamp, and this is a tight squeeze. If you wanna make it a tiny bit bigger, you totally can, but it is literally fits just right on there. Hopefully I got it even and straight. Oh, that's good enough. No one's gonna complain. So let me get that out of the way. And then we can attach this to another layering piece. And everything is a quarter of an inch wider and taller. So there we go. Let's set that aside. And let's bring in our designer series paper. And the designer series paper is five and three fourths by three and three fourths. So our layering piece is four by three and three fourths. So we're just gonna go ahead and layer this guy on. There we go. And I brought in some of the Bumblebee ribbon. Um, it is, let's see, it's the, 20, the 2020 to 2022 in color um, ribbon. And I just brought a strip in and we're gonna tie a bow as well. So I'm gonna put a mini glue dot on each end. And then I just want to put the ribbon along the bottom. There we go. Now we can start attaching everything and then we'll attach the ribbon at the end. So I'm gonna flip those over and grab some dimensionals. They're here beside me, there we go. And I'm just gonna put one on each corner and I'm gonna put one in the center. Just because it's a larger image, I don't want the center to sink, even though I'm not mailing it. So I'm gonna lay this right there. 
And then that's our sentiment. Let's put a couple dimensionals on there. Let's put this right up top. And then let's tie a quick little bow. For the next card, I went ahead and tied the bow, um, but I thought I would show you guys how I do that. So I make one little bunny ear, and then I make another bunny ear, and then I crisscross them, feed it underneath. This piece is gonna go over to the back, and then you're just going to make your bow however big you want it. Voila, beautiful bows. Okay. Give it a little tiny haircut. Make sure your scissors are sharp, otherwise it will fray your edges. Grab a mini glue dot, and we're gonna put this right in the center. So one more thing for this card before we attach it. Have you ever um, put a bow on the center of your ribbon and it just kind of like flies all over the place? It, like, it, I don't feel like it's secured enough. So what I like to do is I grab another mini glue dot and I put a mini glue dot underneath the ribbon right in the center. So now it's literally secured. It's not gonna go anywhere. Just a little tidbits. Let's bring our card base back in. We're gonna attach this. And there's one last step before we attach it to our bag. So let's glue this on. There we go. So our card is officially done. Thank you for all the hearts and the thumbs up. I love it. You can write your sentiment on the inside. You have your gift card sitting right there. Super duper cute. So there's one last step to attach this to your bag. So this is these measurements are just my suggestion because of the, the bag size that we have. So this measures six inches by two, and the designer series paper is five and three fourths by one and three fourths. Hopefully I got that right. So I'm just gonna grab some adhesive and put this right in the center. Just gonna let that Hold that down for one quick second. And then we are going to bring in our punch again. So I did this at two inches for a reason. Once you put this inside your punch and all the way down to the base, it is going to give you a line to be able to punch. And I liked having the designer series paper on the front of it because it showed me not to go past the designer series paper when I'm punching it, otherwise you're gonna punch out your hole on each side. It'll make sense in a, in a second, I swear. So you're gonna put this inside your punch and push it all the way down to the bottom. Scoot it over until you see the designer series paper right there on the edge. Literally, you can only see a tiny little piece peeking through and you're gonna punch it. And you're gonna scoot this over and it's already lined up because it's all the way to the base of your punch. Punch it again, scoot it over, punch again. And one last time, you see I don't wanna go too far because otherwise I'm gonna cut that off. So I'm just gonna make the designer series paper be my guide and there's just an itty bitty little piece poking through. Punch that again and look, you literally did not go through your edge. And it's totally okay that this piece fell off. I did that purposely. So now, what do you think is gonna happen? This is gonna slide right inside and we're gonna attach this to the bag. Is that not the coolest thing you've ever seen? I know a long, long time ago, I don't know if I was doing Facebook Lives, but I did show this somewhere. Maybe it was just a video that I did. So I'm going to take some tear tape and I'm gonna run this along the top. You don't wanna put any adhesive on this tiny little piece, otherwise your card won't fit. So we're gonna go ahead and put another strip, and this probably is overkill on um, tear tape, but I'd rather be safe than sorry. But just remember, don't put adhesive on this little edge right there. So let's bring in our bag. Let me grab the right color bag. 
So let's grab our bag. And the bag is sideways. Um, I just don't know if it'll fit um, doing it the other way. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to tuck it right up to the edge. We'll push that down a little bit so the tear tape sticks. And watch the magic. Oh, I love this. I'm going to slide your card in. And it's going to hang right on the outside of your bag. So now you can pick your bag up and the card is on the outside. Is that not the funnest thing you've seen all day? I loved it. Okay, hopefully we have enough time. We only have about 10 minutes. So let's see what we can get to. Let's actually just do a little bit more stamping and I'll remake the tag. I think that was probably the most challenging with this card. Let me flip this over just so, oh, there's a little bit mess over there, but that's okay. We'll just use the center. So what you want to do is make sure to use the back side of your images. So we're going to flip these guys over so the back sides are up. There we go. And I'm going to bring in Poppy Parade and Flirty Flamingo. Those are the colors that I picked for this card. So we're going to start with the Flirty Flamingo, and this is the larger. So I'm literally just going to alternate the sizes going all along the side of your card. And you can see I kind of missed that a little bit, but you're not going to be able to tell. Not once you get everything on. Let's see if I can stamp that one a little bit better. Oh, that's perfect. So alternating your color, or not colors yet, alternating your sizes. And then let's flip it over. I know if anybody saw that, that was a terrible cleaning job, but that's okay. We're trying to hurry to get all these done. Close that up so I don't accidentally get the wrong color. And I'm gonna start with the larger one. And now that I have the back side of it, I can now just do all of my larger ones all at once. I don't have to alternate them. There's that. Uh, yep, I made sure it was right. There's that one. Oh, I think these are literally my favorites. If you took the class to go, we did these in the gorgeous grape and oh, they are so beautiful. So let's bring in the leaves, not the leaves, the stem. <laughs> oh, it's been a long day. It's been a great day, but it's been a long day. Okay, so we're gonna stamp the back side all along the edge. And just make sure you have something underneath you. And then while we have the, and I'm using the same um, of the greens. This one is Pear Possess. I use the same one on all the cards. So they're just gonna stamp the leaves. These are leaves. There we go, one left. Give that a good cleaning, flip it over. Swap out inks. And I think it's best if you do close your inks, um, just so you don't mess up and stamp the wrong color in the wrong ink. Because there's nothing worse than stamping a dark image on a light ink pad, and then you say bad words. I don't know if anybody else says bad words, but I say bad words. Okay, flip that over. Now we're gonna do the stems. Oh, I got it right. Oh, I love these. I literally don't know which one is my favorite, the blues or the pinks. They're literally all my favorites. Let me go ahead and attach this. Well, maybe I'm not gonna attach that because I don't think I brought the right paper over. Anyways, I'll post a picture. Let's concentrate on this little guy. So if you have a smaller bag, 
these can be smaller, but remember whatever size your card is, it at least needs to be um, at least four and a quarter inches wide. Otherwise this won't fit through the back side of it. So if you make this smaller, you can, but just make sure that your card's going to slide in. Okay, let that sit for a second. And then bring in our punch. I'm gonna tuck it all the way to the bottom. It's all the way attached to the bottom and I'm gonna pull it over and just have a little bit, can you see how barely you can see the um, flirty flamingo? That's how I know I'm not going to go over and cut off my edge. So I'm going to do the same thing on this side. You can see right there. So I'm going to push it back and barely have an edge sticking out. There we go. Look at how easy peasy that is to make a little tag for a little holder for your gift card. So put some tear and tape on it. Just remember not to put tape on the bottom. You don't know how many times I've messed that up and had to redo it. Peel this off. And if you didn't wanna make this so wide, after you cut this, you can put this back in your trimmer and cut it a little bit so that you only have like a one inch or a three fourths inch um, band. So let's bring in our bag. And we're going to tuck it right up to the handle. Because if you don't have a gift card in here, this is going to be an inch longer. So it might hang down your bag if this is still long. Hopefully that makes sense. You know what? Just practice. Practice makes perfect, and these are so fun. I actually did not bring in um, the piece that goes underneath here, but literally I did the same exact thing. And then I stamped, let me go ahead and stamp the sentiment really quick. You wipe off the um, Pacific points. Ink this up, stamp that guy. So it looks like I will have one card left to finish, but that's okay. So I literally did the same exact thing. I wrapped the ribbon around. I'll post a picture of the other ones. I literally can't believe I forgot to bring it in, but I wrapped this around the bottom, put the bow there. I have ink all over me. Do you guys get like that? And then here is the card base. I used the bumblebee instead of the basic white. And then I just cut an extra piece to go on the inside so I could write my sentiment on there. So there we go. Uh, we are two minutes from our 30 minute Facebook Live, but I really hope you guys enjoyed my 3D March Marathon. Since that one's not put together, let me bring in the one that is put together. Happy Easter, happy spring, happy, happy everything. It is such a perfect saying. Love it, love it, love it. Inside, it's your happy Easter gift card. Okay, that is your Facebook Live for tonight. And Thursday will be, oh, sorry, I just lost my balance. Um, Thursday will be something completely different. We are not going to do 3D items. I will not stress you guys out and I will give you a little bit of a break, but we could have more 3D items because I love boxes. Anyway, if you guys need anything, please feel free to reach out. If not, I will see many of you guys on Saturday for card class. I do have a few openings, so if you are free on Saturday and would like to join us, feel free to send me a message, um, email, text, or instant message. We'll talk to you guys soon. Have a good night. Bye-bye.